Hello everyone, Dee Fish here from Rockstar Consulting with another edition of the Rockstar Success Library. You know, a question I get asked quite a bit is at what point should I stop calling a sales prospect? You know, when do I go from being persistent to downright rude? Because none of us want to be rude or obnoxious. I want to give you four tips today to keep in mind the next time that you are following up with your prospects so that you can avoid being pushy or rude or obnoxious. The first tip is to understand that there is no universal rule. Uh, there's not this magic number of times that you should follow up with a sales prospect. You know, it's not five calls or seven calls or 23. It's going to vary depending on the prospect. So you have to go a bit with your gut. I mean, if you got a good feeling about somebody, keep calling. If you don't have a very good feeling, you know, maybe you're going to call a few less times. The second tip that I have for you is to realize that you're only being pushy if someone tells you no and then you keep calling. You know, if somebody does talk to you and they say, hey, we're not interested right now, uh, we don't have a need for your product or service, and if you keep calling them after they say that, that's obnoxious, that's pushy, don't do that. But until they say that, keep calling. In fact, step number three is keep calling until you get a yes or a no. A lot of times, uh, we, we want to stop calling when we get a, a kind of a wishy-washy response. Well, understand that they're kind of being rude if they're not giving you a yes or a no. Or even worse, they're being rude if they don't even call you back. So don't worry about continuing to follow up with them until you get to that yes or that no. And hey, a no is fine because then you know to talk to somebody else. But again, a lot of times if you keep calling, you're going to get to that yes. And the fourth idea I have for you is to make sure that even though you want to be persistent, you don't want to be a pest. So that doesn't mean you have to call someone every day. Calling somebody two or three times a week even shows that you're persistent, shows that you're interested without you becoming a burden. And that's what you want to avoid. You don't want to be a pest. You don't want to be something that they're actively avoiding. So if you use those four tips the next time you consider whether or not you should continue to call, I think it will make your life a lot easier. And we'll see you on the next time at the Rockstar Success Library.